Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today we're going to take a look at the comparison between using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and a 0.2 millimeter nozzle uh, to print miniatures and other small items out on your FDM 3D printer. Uh, specifically, this is going to use the new Cura 5.2 that has Cura's new Arachne slicer engine in it that debuted with Cura 5.0. Um, Arachne allows Cura to slice and print uh, using variable line widths, meaning it can extrude less material and have a nozzle emit a line that is narrower than what the aperture on the nozzle is. So a 0.4 millimeter nozzle could uh, replicate the detail level of, say, a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. So I wanted to see just how far this had come and compare the two. These are both run out on Ender 3 V2s using Hatchbox PLA. Uh, they were sliced with Cura 5.21, and they were sliced using my custom Cura profiles that are, are available on the Fat Dragon Games website. Um, the difference is far less than I was anticipating. I'm used to seeing pre-Arachne uh, comparison prints, and the difference was always huge between a 0.4 and a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. Um, not so much anymore. Uh, the, the gap is definitely closing with the variable line width feature in Arachne. Um, the 0.4 millimeter nozzle is doing very good quality miniatures and it's getting much, much closer to what a 0.2 millimeter nozzle will do. Um, there's some areas that the 0.2 is clearly uh, superior. Uh, specifically the beard has much tighter and more defined detail. The tip of the nose is better. The eyes are better. Uh, the fur uh, around his waist uh, that is more defined and the belt buckle is crisper. Um, aside from that, they're looking pretty close. Um, it's definitely a good model to put out on your tabletop. Uh, the time difference was one hour and 40 minutes for the 0.4 millimeter nozzle versus two hours and 40 minutes roughly for the 0.2 millimeter nozzle. So the question is, are the tighter details and finer details worth an extra hour printing your mini? That's up to you. Uh, for me, I'm definitely going to keep printing my minis with a 0.2 simply because I like to put a nice paint job on them and these are for display and for promotional purposes for Fat Dragon. But if you just run to run out a bunch of fast minis for your you know, next game night, 0.4 using the new Cura 5X uh, uh, edition of the slicer uh, is definitely a good option for you. Uh, the print's very fast. The details are plenty good. And um, there's really, really no issues with it. Um, anyways, that's it for this week. I'm also running my new Kickstarter, Realm of the Goblin King. If you would please go check that out and consider supporting me. Uh, it's a great way to support this channel. It's how I can afford to keep doing these videos for all of you. The link is in the video description, and I've got it linked up above here too. Um, that's it for this time. Please click that like and subscribe button. Thank you.